Do you remember the the the, the shooter in the University of Texas at mm -hmm. Austin? I remember that. Okay. One. Yeah. Uh, there's a movie they made out of it called The Tower. Yeah. Where he left a note saying, "I just want to kill people. Something must be wrong with my brain. Mm -hmm. Please, when I die, look in, look into this." They, they looked, and there was a tumor pre putting pressure on a part of the. In fact, that's how we learn anything about how the brain works when and you have situations like this. Person had was, the free will he to didn't write have the free will. a note. He had the free will to write the note. But he, so he did not have the will to resist shooting. Why isn't that line always in motion as we learn more and more about how the mind it works? Is. It, is. it is, in your words, a perimeter of ignorance. When Newton said we couldn't explain certain things, right. Right, God must have done it. Of course. That's a God of the gaps. Of course. That delineates what we don't know. So why does the border between what we call choice and what we call compulsion keep drifting every time we sharpen our understanding of the brain and the cosmos? Consider the unnerving timing of your own decisions. Long before the sensation of I chose arrives, networks of neurons begin ramping up, as if a vote were already underway and your conscious mind is the last to be informed of the result. That delay doesn't erase responsibility, but it shifts the spotlight. It says the author of your actions might be wider than the feeling of authorship itself. Here's the friction. If some parts of you can be moved 